I like to give them all IDs just because they're not going to have multiples on the, of those on a page. Um, and it just makes it more specific so I know exactly what I'm talking about. But um, So that's the way I like to do it. So now when you go to style um, a, a division, um, for, you start off by, again, the pound sign and then the name of that division. So we call this one header. So, of course, we start right here with header. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that your body tag right here, uh, you can actually style it too. And you, since it's not a, 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 a division, it's just the body tag, you don't have to put a pound in front of it. You don't put anything in front of it. You just call it body. Okay. And what that essentially says is that anything inside these body tags, and you remember we, we started uh, our body tag here, and then we end it in our footer right here. So pretty much all our content then within uh, that's going to be on our site, but everything that's within these body tags is going to have this style. And what I did is I gave it um, a margin and a padding of zero pixels. And what that does, if you'll take a look here, most browsers come with browser padding, and so they'll have like five or ten pixels around the entire browser um, of white space. And by giving it uh, margin zero and padding of zero pixels. What it does is you'll notice this goes right up to the edge of the browser. It removes that browser padding. So that's really all I did there. Um, and then I set the font for the entire, all the text that's going to be in inside um, the site or the, the page. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this is that you can set your main font uh, up here in your body tag so that all your font shows up that way no matter where it is. And then if you want to give, say, inside your you know, header subscribe, you want to use this very specific font for, you know, inside there, then you can give this uh, a different font family and it'll override this up here. And that's actually the name where the name CSS comes from or cascading style sheets is that the style cascades down. So um, you start off here and as you cascade down, anything that is specified uh, lower down this cascade will take precedence over anything above it generally so um, that's how CSS works so you can go ahead and give everything this uh, this font without worrying if you want to use a different font later on so went ahead and styled the body the header what I did with it is I gave it a width of 900 pixels um, and so you if you were to measure from here to here it'd be 900 pixels um, then I gave the margin of zero pixels auto, zero pixels auto. What that essentially does is centers it uh, in the center of the page as opposed to being, if I didn't do that, it would be over here to the left. Um, I gave it a border so we could see where it was, and you've seen that. And then I did this clear both thing. And essentially what that does is, um, for example, if, you, if I gave this a width of 900 pixels, um, and you happen to be on a screen that was, let's say, it's 3,000 pixels. This nav bar, if I didn't do clear both, would actually slide up to the side uh, of this. Um, and the reason that is is because there's enough space. If there's enough space for uh, a div below to move up alongside another one, and they have a, they both have a float. If they have a float on, it'll actually float up alongside of it. Okay, so by give, doing clear both, what that means is that um, I'm saying don't let let any other div go on and on any side of of this top div here. So it'll basically force this nav bar div to be below. Okay, and I like to do that with my main content ones just because I never know how big of a screen somebody might be viewing the website on. Uh, you never know ever never know every situation, and so by doing that, you just kind of uh, prepare it so that no matter what size of screen that it's being viewed on that uh, it's still going to show up the way you want it to show up so that's essentially what this clear both does All right so then if you'll notice um, this style right here actually applied to the nav bar it's the same here uh, the content div uh, and the footer div and the reason for that is those are my main building blocks if you look here I have my header I have my cont my content, uh, I have and I have my footer or I'm sorry, I have my header, I have my nav bar, I have my content, and I have my footer. So those are kind of my four major building blocks. And so they pretty much all have the same style. They're all gonna be nine hundred pixels wide, they're all gonna be centered 
um, they're all gonna uh, be so that neither one of them are along they're all gonna be in line I cl put the clear both on all of them or yeah on all of them so that they don't go up alongside each other so they pretty much all have the same style so that's why I was able to do that and then I came in here to my logo which is inside my header box and I gave it 400 pixels I floated it left and I gave it uh, a border and then my header H subscribe I made it 400 pixels I floated it right and gave it a border and so what you'll see here is that here's my logo uh, div it's 400 pixels and it's it's aligned to the left um, and then here's my header subscribe it's 400 pixels and it's aligned to the right uh, and so that's essentially what those styles do the float left and float right uh, will make it so that they f they align alongside of each other next to each other when we want them to do that so you could technically you could make this header subscribe 500 pixels and float it left and it would pretty much accomplish the same thing and this would be all the way over here um, but just for clarity's sake to show you what float left and float right do I went ahead and put them uh, like this so that you can see that and you'll notice I did the same thing here with our content left and our sidebar boxes here okay so that's our logo and our H subscribe um, we covered our nav bar we covered our content and then you'll notice that our content left and our sidebar are a lot like our H subscribe and our logo except I gave the content left a width of 550 pixels, floated it left and gave it a border. The sidebar, I gave it a width of 300 pixels, floated it right and gave it uh, a one pixel border. And so that's what this looks like right here. And so uh, as you can see, it's actually a lot simpler than you might think to build a site using code um, as opposed to say like front page or Dreamweaver or something like that. Um, it's really, really simple once you understand it. Uh, you have a lot more control over it. Um, and as you can see in a matter of minutes really it took me probably five minutes to code this um, you can build the basic foundation of your site and now all you really have to do is start to add you know images and colors and backgrounds and you know different things like that and your sites pretty much uh, come together and it's really easy to do especially if you're talking about a static page you can do it within probably a couple hours let alone I mean at the at the least and maybe a day at the most so um, it's very very simple to do um, this is kind of the template that I would say um, start off with for all your sites and then you can build off of here to create the rest of of, uh, of the site and so what I'm gonna do in future videos is I'm gonna actually go through and we're gonna turn this into an actual page um, I haven't really decided yet what page it's going to be what it's going to look like but we'll figure that out as we go and we'll turn it into an actual page and you'll see how using this basic foundation you can create a really kick-ass uh, uh, web page and then based off that knowledge you'll, you'll you'll see how we can take this these same ideas and use it to create like a kick-ass WordPress theme or an entire site uh, based off again these same ideas so I hope to see you in those videos uh, I look forward to it what I suggest for you to do now um, is go ahead and if you haven't yet go ahead and code uh, this basic template I'm not providing uh, the source code to you specifically um, because I want you to learn how to code this and the only way you're gonna learn how to code it is to code it so I'm not providing those samples so if you want to follow along you'll just need to go ahead and, and code this you can go back to this video rewind as much as you need to uh, to create this basic foundation. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again in the future.